This week, the Syrian army, Liwa al-Quds, and the National Defense Forces have conducted a series of anti-ISIS raids in the Homs Deir Zor desert. The intensification of the anti-ISIS efforts followed an ISIS attack near Khabarib on the Damascus Deir Zor highway. On May 17th, ISIS terrorists set up a fake checkpoint and killed several civilians and soldiers there. On May 18th, the NDF and Liwa al-Quds sent reinforcements to the area of al sakna from their positions near al-Rasafa in the province of Raqqa. Coordinated anti-ISIS raids started on May 19th. In the following days, the army and its allies destroyed several ISIS hideouts in the area between Harbishi and Fayyat el minya and near Sakna. The most intense clashes erupted between al-Quds and ISIS in the desert area near Palmyra on May 21st. According to photos and videos released by government sources, several ISIS members were eliminated and at least three vehicles were captured in these raids. Despite this, the desert is still infested with terrorists. Early on May 22nd, terrorists ambushed an army vehicle near al Rasafna. Additionally, ISIS cells conducted at least five attacks on government forces in the provinces of Dara and al Qianitra. On May 18th, a soldier was shot and killed on a road between al Shoa and al Musafra. On the same day, ISIS killed a local, accusing him of being a spy for the military intelligence directorate in al -Jiza. On May 19th, two soldiers were shot and killed near the town of Kafir Shams. On May 19th, a security officer was shot and killed near the town of al Hara. On May 19th, a soldier was killed near Khan Arnaba. These developments demonstrate that terrorists successfully used the timeout that they got thanks to the Turkish-Syrian conflict in Idlib, and now government forces will need to contribute extensive efforts to neutralize the resurfaced ISIS network in southern and eastern Syria. On May 20th, Ankara and Moscow made another small but important step in implementing the southern Idlib de-escalation agreement. A joint patrol held by the Russian military police and the Turkish army for the first time bypassed the town of Ariha on the M4 highway and reached the village of Kafir Shaleya west of it. It became the longest patrol held by the side since the reaching of the de-escalation agreement in March. Earlier in May, Turkish forces managed to remove a protest camp blocking the M4 highway. According to local sources, the removal of the protest was Ankara's tactical agreement with Al-Qaeda-affiliated Hayat Tahrir al-Sham. In any case, this helped to de-escalate the situation along at least a part of the M4 security zone. At the same time, the town of Jashir al-Shagur, controlled by another al-Qaeda-linked group, the Turkestan Islamic Party, still remains an important source of instability in the area. In northeastern Syria, the Syrian army continues its campaign to limit the freedom of operations of the U.S.-led coalition. On May 20th, Syrian troops intercepted a U.S. military convoy near Umm al Qahir and forced it to retreat to its positions near Al Hasaka. U.S. forces, in fact, found themselves surrounded at the positions near oil fields that the Trump administration wanted so much.